so I have been in active clinical practice for more than three and a half decades now and uh, I'm a nutritionist and I am a certified functional medicine practitioner so I started my practice way back in 1984 today uh, all of you must be finding that there is an avalanche of information on nutrition uh, back in the days it wasn't so much I mean there wasn't so much information so we had to research we had to study a lot and we had to give research to information to the people but today you have uh, information coming from every corner from magazines from newspapers from TV channels from ads even ads to try and tell you what is right and what is wrong from Instagram from Facebook from whatsapp forwards uh, there is an avalanche of information and the receiver of the information is often confused as to what is right and what is wrong in today's very confusing field of nutrition right for instance some people um, say eat eggs others say do not eat eggs it will raise your cholesterol some people say um, coconut oil is good for you and there are others who say don't take coconut oil it is uh, not good for your cholesterol and so on and so forth eat peanuts don't eat peanuts uh, so what do you do a ghee whether it's good for you or not rice whether it's good for you or not so there's lots of this information uh, avalanche uh, so I would request all of you to firstly ensure that whatever firstly understand what's your goal just don't start following or taking in food items because somebody has said this is good for immunity or this is good to uh, prevent the covid or this is good for body ache etc no no single food can help you correct any disease it has to be a basket of correction there has to be matching of food therapy to body chemistry so somebody needs to understand your body chemistry somebody needs to match the foods to that chemistry now for that you need blood reports you need genetic reports that is done through a saliva test you need to see measurable results so always make sure that whatever facts you're hearing they're researched facts just do a little research on your own and you'll find out whether there is adequate research to back those claims that is very important uh, uh, for instance rice uh, so there was this recent study done on 1,32,373 participants across 21 countries and these participants were followed over nine and a half years and the research says that after nine and a half years they found out that uh, intake of high quantities of white rice does predispose people to getting type 2 diabetes now uh, this fact is finally out because in increased intake of rice does uh, lead a person to type 2 diabetes and people always knew that but now with the research uh, there is a stamp on it which means that uh, too much of high glycemic index foods does cause a problem uh, with your insulin dysregulation it does cause insulin resistance and therefore leads to type 2 diabetes so always uh, remember that you have to uh, you have to you have to go with the researched facts and accordingly uh, follow it uh, and once you identify your goal then you know for instance if your goal is to 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 correct your acne you can't be having ghee and rice and things like that to correct your acne let us say you have hair fall you will need a lot of iron to correct your hair fall you'll need biotin you'll need to understand the root cause of your hair fall let's say your root cause is high androgens or high uh, testosterone male hormones so you will have to uh, take certain foods and supplements to reduce the androgens 
uh, which are probably produced because of stress or because of uh, uh, too much of non-vegetarian food or because of too much of oily food it's all different per person no two individuals are alike no two conditions are alike we need to understand your blood reports your body chemistry your past history of medical problems uh, what you are specifically allergic to what you are sensitive to some people are salt sensitive some people are carb sensitive everyone reacts differently to different foods so just to don't pick up any food uh, which you have read in a forward like eating mangoes is good or having ghee is good yes by itself all foods are good mangoes have great nutrition value ghee has super nutrition value but is that food suitable for you and your goals is the question if it suits you go ahead and take it if not you could go to a qualified person and figure out whether uh, these things are going to benefit you for your uh, actual goals and once you figure that out accordingly take action because patient specific approach is the approach of the future that's the only thing that's really really important whether that food item uh, is 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 suitable for you your body chemistry and your genetic makeup and according to your blood test whether it is good for you i hope that helps